Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great quick video review on a Class A motorhome from Parkway RV Center. I'm hoping to be able to do a longer video review on this one. I've got to have some upholstery work done to it, um, but so I'm just going to do just a quick walkthrough on this one, and if it's still available after the upholstery work gets finished, I'll uh, I'll reshoot it with a full video. So today we're going to review a 2012 Tiffin. Uh, this is the Allegro open road, of course. It's the 32 CA. This is a double slide, very high quality gas motor home, class A. Has 71,000 miles, no check engine lights, dash airs ice cold, runs and drives great. Full body paint, you know, Tiffin only makes high end coaches. And um, you can ask anybody, including myself, the top three brands in a class a gas motorhome to buy and i guarantee you or anybody that's experienced in rvs you ask what their top three list is for class a gas motorhomes and tiffin's going to be in everybody's list these are a great quality unit built in red bay alabama guys um of course i know thor industries bought them last year which i'm i've got mixed feelings about that but this was back when bob tiffin was in charge and Quality control was second to none. I mean, these were just such great, great units. They only limited themselves to building six motorhomes a day so they could control the quality of every unit that left their factory. Now, did that hurt them? Yeah, because there wasn't that many of them on the market, but it, it, it they have such a devoted fan base of Tiffin motorhomes. I mean, what, most people, once they own a Tiffin, that's all they'll have from now on. And this unit's got a 5500 on end generator. I'm just doing a quick video, so I haven't really turned anything on. Just going through it. Roughing it smoothly. Built on an F53 Ford chassis. 6.8 liter Triton V10. Um, you can see the full body paint looks beautiful. No delamination. Got the Alcoa wheels. Fiberglass roof. Slide topper. 362 horsepower so plenty of power for this rv and it's only 32 foot 10 inches long too you've got your driver door which is really more or less an escape door those are not the easiest thing to get in and out of but in an emergency of course they could be a lifesaver um hopefully that none of you will never have to face does have the diamond shield on the front it is starting to cloud up a little bit which is typical of one after they get about 10 years old uh, that helps protect your paint you can have that removed if you want or put a bra on it there's other things you can do to fix it i uh, got a one-piece windshield of course so great visibility got a little pet window right here power awning this is a nice high quality coach guys and Let's look inside. Like I said, I just got the motor running, flipped a few lights on, so I haven't really gone into this one very much, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to it for the 69.9 price. Um, up here in the front, 71,000, 7.19 on the clock, no check engine light, I got the parking brake set, that's why you got a parking light on. HWH hydraulic leveling jacks backup camera dash looks good I am going to take these front seats out of this thing in the next few days take them to the upholstery shop it may take two or three weeks to get them back but you can see they peeling bad and the previous owners did what most dealers do when they when they sell something with bad upholstery in the front seats they just stick covers on it I'm not going to do like most dealers guys I'm going to pay several hundred dollars to have these front seats completely recovered um so i'm not i'm not putting a band-aid on it i'm fixing the problem so i'm going to put a new uh, it's all going to be recovered i'm going to replace this chair right here because it's starting to it's fading real bad too starting to crack it's original equipment so uh what i'm going to do i'm going to put the same style chair in here a euro but it's going to be a recliner so it'll have the fold up footrest instead of the separate one because these things right here are easy to trip over and um so i am going to do that i'm probably going to go with a color really similar to the seat covers because i can't exactly get that color to recover it got ceramic tile floor um 
sofa looks great sleeper sofa you got a table booth that makes a bed you've got Corian countertops of course solid wood cabinetry that's a chestnut uh, if I remember my Allegro um, uh, cabinetry that they use our chestnut hardwood cabinetry it does have two ducted 13,500 BTU roof airs with electric heat pumps as well as a 40,000 BTU furnace so heating it cooling it any time of year and that dash air is ice cold too by the way not going to be a problem it's got the seven foot tall ceilings led light upgrades of course tvs flat screen tv you've got one here and you got another big tv right here so definitely uh, if you like to watch tv this is a good model for you got a 10 cubic foot refrigerator that I just flipped on for a second for the lights. And this unit does have a couple of nice options. Um, does have a solar panel, solar charge controller. And then you also have a inverter so that you can power a lot of your appliances. Like right now, this microwave convection oven is running off the inverter um, without having to run the generator. Of course, you can run it if you want to. It does fire up uh, and run. But like I said, I'm, I wasn't gonna be in here very long. so. I didn't mess with all that. Pantry with adjustable shelves. I say that and watch me start sweating. <laughs> I get carried away. It's hard for me to do a short video sometimes, guys, but I try. Uh, back bedroom with a Queen Island bed. Notice a really nice headboard. Uh, I love the woodwork. I mean, guys, these are very, very high quality coaches. This thing brand new in 2012, MSRP'd close to 130. So. This is not a cheap motorhome, even though technically this is Tiffin's entry level brand. It's nicer and more expensive new than a lot of other manufacturers top end brands. So keep that in mind, guys. Tiffin's are in a class all by themselves when it comes to a class A gas. Solid sliding door for privacy, your bathroom. Let's see here, and I do like the tile floor. They're really nice, no cracks anywhere. Uh, there's your toilet nice nice size vanity area medicine cabinet fantastic vent fan led lights and decent size shower too over here let's take a look at it oh yeah and you've got the uh i'm out mean, that's a plastic but faux marble let's just call it that and you can see around your skylight there's no signs of leaks anywhere in this rb guys um no sagging of the headliner. That's that fiberglass roof for you. No cracks in the core in, which means you've got a good riding chassis. Of course, this should be on a, if memory serves me, these were built on a 22,000 pound F53 chassis. So definitely heavy duty for a th under 33 foot motor home. Um, and beautiful quality guys i mean you open the drawers the cabinets you can tell the quality right off the bat and i will do a more thorough video on this with generator running airs on refrigerators cold once i get those seats recovered if it doesn't sell before then um you know I, it's like i was saying earlier they only build six of these per day so or six motorhomes total per day so you don't see many used tiffins as you do like a thor or a a Fleetwood or Holiday Rambler or something like that guys you just don't see that many of them hit the market so there is a huge demand for used Tiffins and this thing is priced way under NADA guys because of the mileage which 71,000 miles is for a 10 year old coach that's a little high but not killer high it's still got many years of life left to it if you take care of it and um, what is that seven seventy seven thousand miles a year and that national average for rvs is five thousand miles a year so yeah it's a couple thousand miles a year high but it's not just it's not like it's ten thousand miles a year so and i promise you most of you are not going to put a ton of miles on this thing um it's going to last you a long time to take care of it and this one's been taken care of besides getting those seats recovered so 
No smoke or pet odors, guys. If this is something you think you're interested in, 706-965-7929 is a phone number. 2012 32CA price at $69.9. At that price, we will uh, hook it up to power or run the generator. We do guarantee the generator, the refrigerator, freezer, the slide outs, and the both roof air conditioners to work like they're supposed to for $69.9. Of course, it will be sitting here, guys, you can plug it into power you can we'll put water in the tank for you. you can do your own inspection to see what works and what doesn't on the rest of it before deciding to buy it or not we cover the major stuff the little stuff's on you guys i've marked my prices down accordingly uh, if if i did a full check out on this and especially after spending what i'm going to spend on the reupholstery work it would be 74.9 i've got it for 69.9 so you can take that money you're saving and put that toward any repairs which i seriously doubt you're going to spend a fraction of that money on anything on here and like i said i'm going to cover the chairs i'm going to replace this chair recover the front too um so don't worry about that books and manuals are in here of course got the day night shades the good ones not the ones with the strings that break all the time got the big inverter that works i've already checked that generator does run um you know, I did fire it up for a few minutes, but um, but let me tell you something, guys. It's it is what it is. Sixty nine nine. Come and look at it. Spend some time in it. Be your make your own decision about if it's the right one for you or not. Seven zero six nine six five seven nine two nine. Call before coming to look to verify availability. Financing available with approved credit and down payment. We have no extra fees besides applicable sales tax. And if you are a Georgia resident, we do charge a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a forty to fifty dollar tag and title fee for Georgia residents only. So if you're not Georgia, don't worry about that and uh thank y'all for watching make sure you smash me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel um stay tuned for some more videos um may tackle some fifth wheels and travel trailers maybe some c's i just i just driving around in the golf cart looking for stuff that came in while i was on vacation and doing a quick video so thank y'all for watching so much feel free to comment share on social media uh, like i said please subscribe if you haven't already to my youtube channel and uh thank you again for watching Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.